for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Aquarius, in the recent past, we got the Four of Cups, and it's with justice. Now the Four of Cups, it's a current about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So it would have been important in the recent past for you to be sure that you are counting your blessings. Also, you should have made sure not to spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because a lot of life it actually has to do with where we put our focus so you should have tried or you did put your focus on things and people in your life that you had to be thankful for four of cups is with justice now justice it deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect so it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Also, if you were directly involved in a court case in the recent past, it was likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So with these two cards are saying for the recent past, it's showing that you could have been dealing with someone that made you feel devalued or you felt rejected by a person or a situation um, and it also made you feel unimportant that's what the four of cups so it came along these feelings came with feelings of regret with the Four of Cups. Now, because it's with the justice here, whoever you were dealing with in the recent past, for some, for some reason, they felt like they had the right to do so. They felt justified in making you feel this way. So it sounds like to me, you were dealing with someone um, that there was some tit for tat. You did this to me, I'm gonna do this to you. Uh, and vice versa because this person the way they make you the way they made you feel in the recent past was not good not good at all but they felt like it's your time you deserve how I'm making you feel they feel like there's some clarity and truth that's finally happened and it's all about making you feel horrible they felt they had the right to make you feel this way could have been a family member or friend could it be your person of interest you could be a lover or it could be someone new maybe someone you work with a co-worker if it's not someone you know a love interest but somebody make someone felt like they had the right to make you feel horrible now let's move on over and get get away from that thank god that was a recent past let's take a look and see what's going on for the present time so we got the seven of cups and it's with the hangman now the seven of cups is a card about choices and it indicates confusion and it can point to being disorganized, having too much going on. So there's a need to narrow your focus. When this card appears, you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well. So it's important to choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. You may be feeling overwhelmed when you get the Seven of Cups. But just remember, you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. Seven of Cups is with the hangman. Hangman, it shows that you're at a crossroads. One with only two options. That type of crossroads, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. So if that happens, 
it's a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control the situation, people or, or something. So it's possible also that there could be an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of any sacrifice that you make. It's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So it might be a thoughtful, reflective time with this hangman showing up here. So for the present time, coming up towards the end of July, it looks like you could be dealing with someone that keeps their options open or they have a lot of choices. Um, yeah, I think this person probably deals with a lot of, with more than just you. Seven of Cups is, a, is about too many, yeah, they got more than one. It's about um, disorganization, they got too much going on, and a lot of choices here. A lot of different uh, love interests. And it's making you feel like this hangman, like you're confused. So you may be thinking of letting go of possibly an outdated attitude so that um, well, the hangman is about letting go of something. So maybe you're thinking about letting go of this connection because you're confused right now. Or you could be thinking of some type of way to let go of something. Something you're thinking about or you just, maybe you're not thinking about letting something go, but maybe that's what you need to do because you're stuck in your head. You're confused. You're not sure. Up or down, yes or no, stay or go. Yes, because your person may have other options. There's other people in the mix now. Let's take a look at the challenge. We've got the Queen of Cups, and it's with the Five of Wands. Now, the Queen of Cups is showing a woman she'll be very helpful to you. She reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work. And that's even possible if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. Things are probably better in your working world when you get this Queen of Cups. It's a positive outlook about a relationship, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a very nurturing person, really healing and supportive. Now, it's with the Five of Wands, which refers to competition. It could be career or work, but sometimes it means romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and you can be successful, but you're going to have to try to see results. So the need to believe in yourself is going to have to be stronger than ever at this time. Hold your head up high and have faith that you will end up in a place that's right for you. So the challenge is you dealing with this person that's keeping the door open for other options. And it makes you feel like this five of wands, like you have to struggle for dominance. And a lot of times you and your person, you don't see eye to eye because it looks like with the Queen of Cups here, you wanted to offer this person a cup of love. You want it to be nurturing. You want it to be their support. You want it to be a healing energy for this connection in them. Uh, but this person, they, they're being pursued by several people. It's kind of heavy in this reading. It's in here twice. Or they just have several people. It's in here twice. It's in here really heavy. 
So Aquarius, some of you are dealing with someone that does a lot of a lot of um, just getting out there with other people. If I saw it in here once, I would say, well, someone just keeps the door open. They keep their options open. But it's in here twice with the five of wands. It's a challenge, this connection. The five of wands is about a challenge and obstacles. Because they're, they have other people. You feel like you have to fight these other people off. That's what they're doing. These five men, they're about to beat each other with a stick. <laughs> so sometimes you might feel like that's what you need to do. Because there's other people up in the mix. And you wanted to offer this person your, your uh, cup of love as the Queen of Cups. But you find it really challenging. So you struggle for dominance in this connection. Now let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the King of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. King of Pentacles, it speaks about success. So it's a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick. It's a time to follow the established way of doing things. So when this stands for an actual person in your life, this King of Pentacles, it refers to a very masculine type. He could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the, of the spectrum, but it could go either way. If this is referring to an actual person in your life, just know that this is someone who you can believe in and absolutely trust. Trust absolutely, yes. Now to the Two of Cups, which is beautiful. It refers to romantic partnerships, but that's not its only connotation. It speaks of a balanced friendship, joy, sharing. It says that things are likely to be going really well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So the outcome, Aquarius, your person, yes, they, they will choose you. This person wants success with you. Yes, they do with the King of Pentacles. They want to secure this connection and they want to make it more committed. So it looks like they come around. They want to make it more stable. That's what the King of Pentacles is about. So it, this is also good because it's with the Two of Cups. So the person, they choose you. They want to make it more stable and committed. And they see you as the ideal partner with the Two of Cups here. They find that you are um, a union they see you as a deep connection with the Two of Cups. There's harmony here. It, they want a romantic love with you, and it could go to the next level. It could. They could. They see you as someone that they could propose to. They see you as someone they could marry. It's a true love here. So, yeah, your person, the outcome. They're gonna, they're gonna choose you for a lot of you, Aquarius. You're the one that they want. They want. They want.